Hey everyone, uh, short video here. Well, maybe not so short, but give you an idea of some of the things to expect as we're coming back into classes again. Uh, things that are different, some different protocols that we're using to try to make sure everything stays safe here. Uh, first of all, you're going to need to check in for classes. So there's going to this video is going to be attached to an email. There's going to be a lot more information about check-in, but you need to check in before you ever get to this spot. But you've checked in, you get to here. Uh, we've got some cones out here that'll help give you an idea of some social distancing markers for kind of queuing to get inside because once we get inside uh, it's going to take a couple seconds to kind of get through and get to your training spot this door will be open all the time facilitate some airflow and also keep you from having to handle the door with you coming in and out as we get in kick off your shoes but come to class ready for class wear your gi wearing your t-shirt and tie boxing shorts, whatever you need to train in, have those things with you. So you can take off your shoes, have your gear, and that way you'll be able to go to your training spot. Somebody's gonna be here to take your temperature. Boom. Uh, if you've got any signs of illness, if you don't pass a temperature check, you're not gonna be able to do class. Um, as we come through, you can see we've got uh, some social distancing markers to help you kind of keep track of uh, not gathering in one place. I think everybody's pretty familiar with how these things work by now. As we get in, some things that are a little bit different. Um, attendance cards, don't pull your card. We'll take care of that for you. I don't want a bunch of people here having to handle through these. So we'll take care of attendance cards and tracking. Usually the water cooler is here. Uh, no water cooler anymore. Again, just kind of uh, disease transmission. We do have a refrigerator with water. Please bring your own water. But if you don't, if you forget, we do have water in here for you. So that's set up. Coming a little bit further along the line, uh, you might notice uh, the towels are gone. So we're not allowed to have towel service anymore. So bring your own towel. So um, get used to that. Uh, bathrooms are the same as they always were. The shower, you're not supposed to use the shower anymore. Not a lot of people use it anyway. It was mostly for Den and I, but if you were someone that took a shower here, make other plans. We won't have a spectator area anymore. So this area has just got a table, it's got some hand sanitizer, some tissues and things like that. This space, usually people put their shoes, uh, gym bags, gloves and things like that, no longer. Take your stuff to your training station. You should have come in your gi, you should have come in your training shorts. So take off your shoes, take your gear, go to your training spot. So we get in a little bit further, uh, a little bit of new equipment stuff up here, some additional heavy bags so we can uh, have more to work on there. Uh, the loaner gear is gone. If you notice here, shin pads, gloves, that stuff is gone. So no sharing stuff anymore. If you don't have that, you should. If you need help, let me know. Uh, training area. So underneath all of the dummies here are your X marks. So if a class is not using one of the grappling dummies, there'll be spots here to indicate social distancing for training on the mat. But we have a lot of props set up here for us uh, for bully crew class, jujitsu class. Every station has its own cleaning kit. So we've got disinfectant spray, uh, Lysol, towel, cleaning towels. So you want to clean up your equipment um, after you're done with your training session, and uh, we'll have the supplies for that. With the towels, just leave them there. We'll take care of them afterwards, but do take care of your own stuff, whether that's a dummy, a bag, your own gloves, things like that. Um, Moving on a little bit, just kind of more area here, more space. We've got the different floor bags as opposed to the grappling dummies. Oh, another thing about entrance. As you come in, all programs come to, this would be considered sort of the back area, back training area. So let's fill this in first. So if you come in, don't take the first spot up there and make everybody walk by you. Come here, fill these spots in, and then start filling these spots. We'll exit class kind of the reverse of that. We'll dismiss class and we'll go from that the front area and then finish with the back area just to minimize the amount of uh, cross traffic. Uh, you'll be able to view the schedule in your booking app on your phone. Uh, we've put some buffers in there so that the classes have 15 minutes in between each one to ensure that we have time to clean up uh, and sterilize things, but also to keep there from, again, being a lot of cross traffic with two classes essentially being here at the same time, one coming and one going. What that does mean though, is that after class is over, you gotta hustle, you gotta grab your stuff, you gotta head out the door and then be done. So 
Um, there's going to be stuff in your email about this, uh, this video, some attachments, uh, some instructions on how to use the booking app, a bunch of other different stuff. So this is going to be in a very important email. Uh, so open it, read it, and if you have any questions, please let me know. All right. Thanks, guys.